Hello everyone, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own Taekwondo sparring matches. Today we're watching the world champion against Korea, Park, and what we're gonna see today is a lot of Alessio, the Italian, using his range. We're gonna cover why, even if something works one time, you shouldn't use it over and over and over again. And we're gonna see awesome clinch work and why it's important to build your weapons in a similar fashion. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you're new on my channel, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Chris. I've done Taekwondo for over 29 years. I was on national, the Philippine national team for eight years. I was on the USA AU team for one year and my highest world rank achieved was ranked 23. So now I break down fights to help break down the tactics, strategies behind the techniques because it's not just random techniques that help you score. You need good sound strategy as well. Right now, Korea and Italy. Italy obviously taller opponent more than content to fight from the outside because he gets maximum range. Why not? Korea here nice punch poking and prodding when take advantage of the little gap He cuts what I don't really see oh Nice job by Alessio here. So this is very subtle, but something that come, is going to come with experience, especially if you're a taller fighter, something a little subtle that you guys may not have gotten is you go here and boom, boom, right? Alessio almost gets this point in here. Boom. Cancel. Closes distance. Does one for the jam. And then is scooting back to counter now the reason this is significant is because especially if you're a taller fighter or you're against someone who likes to close the distance right someone who likes to push against you likes to press the fight something you could do is do what Alessio did here he kicked short he's kicking short he kicks short he lands he gets that one leg in to maybe score on the front but maybe to block Korea and then he knows Korea is coming in so instead of trying to stand toe to toe he's actually fading back on this kick so that way Korea is walking into it and so for those of you guys who are fighting a very aggressive opponent, you don't always have to go toe to toe, force on force like this, like when you're pushing against each other. What you could do is you could go in and then he's gonna expect you to come, right? He's gonna expect you to meet halfway, but instead of meeting him halfway, you fade back a little bit. And then that way you self space kick, you can get that kick in there. And this is a very similar strategy to what Daehoon used against Bradley Sinden after Daehoon had lost the world championships. So. In that situation, he's pressing Bradley. He knows Bradley wants to fight in the clinch because Bradley's an insanely good clinch fighter. He gets in there. Bradley tries to close the distance. Daehoon fades. So this is a variation of that similar tactic using different weapons because he's using his back leg. Daehoon mostly uses his front leg when he's countering Sinden. So good try there. I mean, obviously, I don't... This is where I had watched this the first round previously and I was not sure. Korea seems a little bit not as aggressive. Like in that scenario, if Korea was more intense on it, um, he could have forced Alessio out. Alessio's off balance, the Italian's off balance, he could have followed up pretty fast. But you know, he didn't. I'm also not the one actually fighting, so this is easy for me to, to quarterback from hindsight here. Good little motions, nice little bullet double. Front leg double going into the clinch. Close the distance very well. Excellent. Alessio's athleticism is nuts. He almost like barely put his... He almost didn't even put his leg down to do that. Very nice. Now... For those of you guys who are watching and wondering, well, you know, it seems like Korea is able to to uh, close the distance very well doing this, this, this double. Uh, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? This one. Why doesn't he just do this double, you know, like all the time? Why doesn't he just close the distance right away? And I'll tell you why. So after here, let's see the boom. Right, it's here, and where's that bullet double? Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna rewind this for a second. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it froze. Um, I think someone showed me this cool little tip where I do this. Okay, uh, not, not quite. I tried. I think it's right here. So I hope you guys were able to catch that. Uh, I froze it for a split second, but he has to get a lot of air to go here. And so some of you guys might go, well, that's a good way to close distance. Why don't we just shove that down our opponent's throat all the time? And it's because at this level of fighting, you can't do the same thing twice. And if you do do the same thing twice, you should be adjusting your counter for their counter already. Because if he keeps closing the distance like this, or if you keep trying to close the distance against uh, like this against someone who's more experienced, they're going to set traps. So this one, if he keeps doing this front leg double, which closes the distance very nicely, which I would recommend for a lot of people to close distance if you can't close distance. If he keeps doing that, you can get back kicked really easily because you have to get a lot of air time. It's really easy to back it because you're floating in the air. Um, and if you keep doing that, then there's also the, op the the chance that what if your opponent just scoots back? You know, uh, to do this technique against someone that height, Park had to jump super high. So you're just dead hanging in the air for a few seconds while your opponent's sitting down kind of waiting for you. So when you guys find a technique that works, put it in the memory bank, think about the next time I can use this, and then implement it at another time. As you reach higher and higher levels, you can't, use the same weapon over and over again because you're going to be easily countered. So that's a small subtle nuance for you guys. Obviously, if you're kind of newer intermediate, this one's a good one too. Um, then you can use it because your opponent won't even have the weapons to do it. Won't even have the weapons to, to counter that situation. This is good by Alesso here to try for the head. There's no, um, Korea's not able to, or is able to block it, but is off balance. Alessio comes down, hard hands, gra uh, gets, make sure he stays off balance while he kicks. Yeah. Obviously there's a grab there. No call for the grab, but it is what it is. Trying to bait that front leg. I think normally I'd say that, you know, Korea should be fighting inside, but it seems a lot like it seems like Alessio Alessio's inside game is better than Korea's. Maybe that's why Korea doesn't want to fight there. He's will, Korea's willing to try and take the trade from the outside because he doesn't feel his inside game can match Alessio's. Nice follow up here. Good try. Also good defense by the Italian. It's a nice little flurry of three or four kicks here that didn't even make it in. Yeah, good try. Yeah, trying to bait that front leg. Oh, nice. So these are all great traps. So the, I'm going to show you uh, the, the different kinds of counters because right now we're just getting a full display. So here, this first one. Watch this. He doesn't even look, check, check the knee. It's high, it's tucked in. If there is a, I mean, he's expecting this, obviously looks like Italy's about to try and punch him. But if Italy's leg was coming up for uh, front leg defense, this blocks a majority of the kicks, unless somehow it's super tucked in and he predicted they were gonna do uh, uh, like an Iranian style punch, kind of close the distance thing. Like unless they, he guessed that one specific move, this specific move Korea was about to do, this kind of a front leg cut here, this kind of front leg defense will block a lot of counters. You just have to be ready that when they hit, there's gonna be some impact and you have to be fast on your feet to recover first. And then good, good job in here, trying to follow up right after the flurry. I think Korea's coach probably told him like, dude, you gotta do some work on the inside. And then all these spins here, this, this spin here, right here, boom. He's expecting, like, if, if this leg had popped up, this, this, this would have been a kick. If this front leg had popped up into this spin, that's exactly what Korea is looking for. This leg would have turned into a kick, but it did, wasn't a kick. Korea has fantastic control, tries one more time, and actually connects. Like, on this part, actually connects. And uh, it's just unfortunate it didn't score. But here, you're going here, boom, no kick, full reset, slides in again. This time, this is also good because the, the timing, the time between the two iterations is short. So after the first slide back, for like 
70 to 80, I want to say even 90% of fighters, that front leg coming up is going to be the defense. For like a majority of fighters, it's going to be the defense. And so coming in, he's coming in again, expecting this front leg. Which is why this kick, even though it doesn't score, is fantastic choice and good timing. Good job by Korea here. Trying to make it happen. I'm, I'm expecting more, uh, okay. Okay. A little clash. I'm gonna. I was gonna say. I'm expecting a little bit more. Maybe front leg double again. What? Hold on. I am a little shook here. Where was the? What? I. I would. Uh, I don't know about that one, folks. Maybe see a punch. Nope. Okay. Trying to beat that counter. A little off timing. Off timing trap there. Oh! Oh! The perfect setup. Even though this doesn't score, just look at the way he set this up. Oh, okay. We're, we're in the real one. Here. Boom. Fake. Fake. Non committal. I mean. I think he's expecting that front leg to come out, so he's planning to kind of kick under it because that's what he was expecting. But you know, okay, it didn't come out, so here's a half kick. How can we how can we use this to disguise the next attack? You make it look the exact same. That's how, exact same, exact same kick, but it's not going to the body because the first one was a was a one here, like a, like a direct. There's no pump. See my mouse here. This one is a here and a flick, here and flick. That's why the hands are down here. The hands are down here because of the first kick. And this one makes it through. It's just unfortunate it didn't register. Maybe not strong enough. Maybe not enough on the scoring area. But it made it through the guard. Because this first kick. This little off time. Okay, nothing here. How can I use that? Now. Right through the guard. Perfect. Perfect. It's just unfortunate it didn't score. But that is a... Fantastic thing. I, I wish the camera had moved because that would have been cool to see the follow-up. But now it's also interesting. We're seeing Korea, the Korea first round. It seemed like he was feeling out Alesso's in close distance clinch game because, I mean, he has, this is the world champion here. He has an excellent outside in. He has an excellent body kick, both sides. So fighting him in the clinch where you have advantage is where you have advantage, but it's not easy. It means he, it, it doesn't mean he doesn't have weapons. He's got weapons and they're good, which is why he's world champ. So I think in the first round, Korea's feeling out the weapons. He's going okay. Now that we, um, now that we have a sense of that, how is his speed, etc. Now we can start following up in the clinch because we have, we have, we have a better feeling for it. Nice. Okay. So also another way to close the distance here. Boom. Watch. High and tight. This is a little bit more technical, not so much technique. This is just a good masterclass on ways to close distance against the front leg. You can see this here. High and tight. Alessio, obviously on reaction, you're not as fast as the guy who proactively moving against you. So here, high and tight over Alessio's leg. He can't get the counter up. Boom, he's in the clinch. Korea's trying to go to work right away. And Alessio knows, so he's trying to like, he's trying to set up his defense. Um, his defense turns out to be shouldering him in the face on accident, but it's like one note is what happens. Also, I, uh, I mean, I think if Korea had fought through this, boom, if Korea had fought through that, taking the shoulder to the face, whatever, and still positioned his feet, Alessa's not, not really prepared for a defense here. He's, his body's arced over. He's hoping that his weight is being caught onto Korea. If Korea disappears, we're to sidestep, we're to angle out, we're to do something, it's going to be really difficult for Alesso to uh, recover and have good defense because he's off balance. So usually, if you're off balance, your body isn't going, what's the defense? Your body's saying, how do I get back in balance? And so here, Alesso might have been off balance enough, may have been a good opportunity to score, but now we'll never know. Okay, a little short to the face. Maybe hit his nose, eyes watering, something, whatever. Cross it with the with double, okay. Front leg double, or just straight back leg, okay. Gutsy. Oh, just close 
a distance, fam. I mean, Alyssa kind of already knows the game already. I don't know what... Maybe Korea's flustered. Maybe there's tears in his eyes have got bumped on the nose. I mean, because sometimes that's involuntary, right? I'm just going to try to give Korea some credit here. He was one of the world's top players. Um, here. I mean, Alyssa, Alyssa knows the game is he's going to close the distance, and then he's going to try and score. That's been the last five or six iterations. He's not going to fight me here foot fencing style anymore. We, we, we established that's not the game in this round. So here, boom, and Alessio's like, okay, here you go. He's going to close the distance. Here's a nice old school pot of chucky. And it's accurate. I don't know how, because, I mean, it's it's electronic gear. Sometimes stuff scores, sometimes it doesn't score. Maybe Alessio's just super strong. Punch. Maybe a punch. No! Oh, that was so gorgeous. One more time. I didn't even expect this. I was expecting a, a short distance close. Oh, so good. So, the the setup obviously he got created. He got Italy to move back, right? But what did I say earlier? I was saying earlier, if he moves back again, he's thinking, if I move back again, he's gonna slide close the distance. So, Korea seeing that Italy move back. Knowing that most people, unless they have a game plan, aren't really going to do the same thing twice. Because moving forward, this can be really easy to counter. Said, okay, the first time we move back, on the second time, I'm betting he's going to move in. He motioned, and sure enough, short, high axe kick. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then I like here, he, he, he scooted forward and tried it again. Because especially if people are... Especially, this is like a almost like a timing reset because if people are like, oh, what's the score? And they turn back and the axe kick's coming, it's too late. So good job for Korea here trying to follow up. Okay. So good job with a first motion. Saw the, saw the slide back. He bet he's coming in the second time through the X. Excellent job. I would, I would not have guessed that. I would have just guessed another clinch. There's some video replay shenanigans something about um, holding I don't know holding maybe I don't know what the call is it looks like it was denied pull off kick 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 when you get in dude Nice try. Okay. Another way to bridge the distance. Try again. Short kick to the face coming soon. Nope. Okay. Focusing on the long range. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, that's it. Oh, close one. So, pretty good fight by Korea here. I like the ideas in the second round. Um, so, this is the World Championships. It could be that Korea's maybe tired. Maybe he had more harder fights than Alyssa, which would probably be the case, given that Alyssa is the, the champ. So, good job by Korea here. Different ways to close the distance. I hope you guys took something away. Um, if you guys liked the video and got some value out of it, I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed. And even better yet, if you found this very very friendly or uh, useful or full of value that please share it to some kind of channel if you guys are in a group chat or to a friend who's tall and could use some ideas or who's short and could use some ideas about how to close the distance that being said have a great night guys i'll see you guys next week